Welcome to my fish room. Okay, so this is mirror dough. This is the first of two orders we're getting today. So we ordered half a dozen clownfish, a bunch of rock. Okay. Rock, let me take it to the back room then. Yeah. Well, well why'd you take this with rock? Because I don't want the newspaper in the tank. The newspaper's going to be in the back anyway, so I'm not just dumping it in. You're going to do that. Why can't you dump it in? <coughs> so we're getting the back room set up. We got our first. You want to bring the light on? So we got a tub of water. So far it's just being circulated there's and heated. No? Yeah. Aaron. Would we put live rock in it if there's no salt in it? So I said there's salt in it. Yeah. You said it's a tub of water. Well, it's a tub of salt water. Aaron's being difficult. If anybody knows how to make my boy not be difficult, put it in the comments. What? I didn't tell you no. Yeah, this is some good rock that you can't see. Nice and airy and light. See, it's good to put live rock in systems that have no fish. That way you don't have to worry about any diseases or anything like that. This water has been running now for a week. And then later on we're going to get our Philippines order around 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night. Ah, this is a good piece. Look at that. Nice cave. Yeah. Well, we sold all the big pieces we got last time. Five fifty-five a pound. It's good rock. Well, I'm trying to. Put rock away with one hand. Why? You got the camera in the other one? More nice rock. Tanks up on this yet. That was a splash. Oh, look at this piece. Now that's nice rock. I'm meeting a guy on uh, Sunday. He wants nice pieces like this. So he's going to be real happy. Happy, happy, happy. I watched Duck Dynasty in case you didn't recognize that reference. Happy, happy, happy. Uncle Cy, he quit last night. Apparently he quits a lot, though. Huh? Uncle Cy quit last night on Duck Dynasty. He felt that they were taking advantage. Yeah, you're brilliant. Yes, Why your father. You this is my father. What do you mean? That was a very smart decision. No, I jumped back. Okay, you put the rock in, I'll hold the camera. So do I. Are you going to go to sleep? I'm going to try to have a nap. Can we make it so that you don't feel sick afterwards? Yeah, we're not going to be feeling sick tonight, son. But you can put five boxes of Philippines away by yourself. Just think. Do I want to put five boxes of Philippines away by myself? Not really. 
fault. You could do it for your dear father. I already did. Now, we only got, uh, there's only one flame angel not sold. The rest are all gone and uh, second last one goes tomorrow. Nobody's bought any of the yellow tangs but the flame angels. Everybody was waiting for them. They're still rocking that other box, too. Why wouldn't you take it out? Can I have your knife? You have a knife in your pocket. Yeah, but there's a other knife down here, too. Which one would be faster to get? The one that you're getting now anyway, if you need to look for it? That's faster. Box of sharp screws. Putting the screws to you, boy. What's that in reference to? Thumb screws. Huh? Thumb screws. They used to put these thumb screws on you and just keep squeezing your thumbs. Eventually you'll talk. I wish they'd measure it and make 50 pound boxes. I don't. Why? How would you? If they were 50 pound boxes, I'd just put them in uh, different piles and then sell the guy the 50 pounds because that's what he wants. How many pounds are in a box? Well, we got 120 pounds spread between how many boxes? Well, you say there's are there any? So how many more boxes in the truck? Four or five boxes. Well, how many boxes are in the truck? Two. This is three. There's we two got upstairs, 50, one other we got 50 Scarlet Hermits, and we got six Perculas, so I can't imagine that taking more than one box. I thought you were going to throw the newspaper in there, son. So, pull your pants up. Looks like you got a load in them. Load boy. Oh, see, last night we were hooking up that lobster system. Uh, you'll see a little bit of it. We didn't do a lot of videos because it's a lot of cutting and gluing and not very exciting. Happy, happy, happy. Sham to wire this room. Need electricity. Power. More power. That's a reference from Scotty. More power. We need more power. Okay, so this room we're going to have. This is going to be for the 20 gallon tanks. So there's going to be from end to end, back to back. Lots of room to get in. Then Sham gave me this bathtub that he really, really wants me to use. So that'll be a sump for one. Then I get that bathtub there for a sump for another system. And then you guys remember the wooden boxes from the store. So we're putting shelving back here to put various stuff in it. There's my boy. Happy, happy, happy boy. See, he wants to go look at a baby. How old is this kid? Aaron! Hi. You're splashing salt water on steel pipes. Think about it. Aaron, can you imagine the amount of water that would come out of them if they're rusted through? You'd fill this in like a second. Yeah. So, as you see, Aaron tossing rocks, he makes bad choices sometimes. Uh, 